Um, well, that's the importance of hosting. You know, I'm a person of inclusion. I love all humans. And if you're talking about um, culture's biggest night, if we leave out the LGBT community, what are we doing? You know, that's not inclusive. So I made it a point to make sure I bring it to the stage. All my children. Love to have a talk with him. Love him. Performing And he's performing. Great. Awesome. And there's a lot of joy with me today being here at the BET Awards in a space where I have not always felt welcome as a queer person. Um, Taraji P. Henson, a shout out to her for making sure that the queer community is represented here today. And after what has gone on this week, right, it's all hands on deck. None of us are free till we're all free. We're all fighting for our humanity together. We can agree to disagree, it's all good, but humanity comes first. You know, so from my message today, it's we're here, we're queer, get used to it and get over it. Full circle, like me and my family used to get around the TV and just, it was a family affair to watch the show. So now that I'm a part of the show, performing and nominated, it's, it's insane. My mom is on a, a couch somewhere waiting for the, for the show to start, so. Yeah, no, me and my brother Vic Mensa went out to uh, Ghana earlier this year in January and, uh, you know, went there just to, to take some time and, and be in community with some artists that we know. But it was a vastly life changing trip. I met some people that I consider to probably be lifelong friends, um, made some music, came back with a, with a new understanding about blackness, global blackness, and just connectivity. And, and yeah, and it, and it led me down a road of being able to communicate some of the ideas that I've been wanting to talk about a lot clearer. And then a couple years back, I saw she had put up a tweet on Twitter where she was saying that uh, her masters um, were, had, had been uh, sort of taken from her. She had, she had fulfilled this contract and, uh, and a lot of her white counterparts were not being released from, were being released from Electra Records, but she wasn't actually able to get her masters back. And she went out on Twitter and asked people to support her by boycotting, streaming her music or buying it. And it was kind of, uh, uh, Twitter kind of made a joke out of it. And so I, in response to it, kind of put up a couple tweets just in support of her, but just saying, you know, this is one of our icons and one of the people that, you know, is the reason why so many of us make music and, you know, agency is the only reason why you're able to get art, you know, people being able to be in control of what they do and what they make is the only reason why you're able to enjoy it in the first place. And I said some things and it trended and whatever happened and I forgot about it and then a couple, maybe a month ago, I was in Vegas, checked out her residency show and when I came in, uh, she like stopped the show and made a point to like thank me for, you know, help and, you know, I feel like she's a powerful powerful, powerful woman in her own right. I think she should give herself a lot more credit for everything that she did to retain her rights, but I think it's a, a major step towards all the people, all the people that you see here tonight have been in some way, you know, uh, done a little dirty by the industry. And so it's always great to see a black woman standing in her power. Okay. Oh, they're here. No, 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 you're looking. Oh, right here. But I want to give it to you. Okay. Well, I'm more so a person like, like let's connect as like friends or individuals or whatever. And like if something comes of that, comes of that. But uh, I saw Latoya Luckett and she's everything. I would love to work with her. And Candy Burris, would love to work with her. So yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Um, 
Um, okay, so this is this is paying homage to the late greats, you know, those that came before. Your James Browns, your Princes, your Michael Jacksons, you know what I'm saying? When it, when when being a when being a, a artist meant something, you're supposed to look like something. This is what this is. I'm also paying homage to the late greats of hip hop. We got Biggie, we got Pac, we got ODB, we got Easy E. Yeah, just you know, the ones that paved the way for me, just paying homage, that's what it is. And then we got uh, beautiful black old Hollywood here. Yes, yes. Mar it's Marilyn Monroe, but it's Marilyn Smith because we're yeah. the Smiths. That's, that's how it works. That's how it works. <laughs> the look is full. Rick Owens, you know, 22 fall, winter, right off the runway. That's why I'm wearing a sweater in the middle of summer. But it's all right. Like you said, <laughs> fashion is hot and fashion is pain.